that this person thinks that going out into the universe depresses you. And I, I don't have that view. This image, my last image, is called the Hubble Deep Field. In fact, it's the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. Hubble took an image of a blank area of sky out to the edge of the universe and up showed all these objects. And that got so good to us, we found another blank area and we went even deeper into the universe. And that is this picture. That is this image. And there's a spiky object in the bottom there. That's a star sitting on our nose. We're looking through a screen door, sort of, out to the vastness of space. There's another spiky object, sort of two-thirds of the way over and midway up. That's another star sitting on our nose as we're looking out of our own galaxy. Everything else in this image, everything, every smudge, every shape, every, every marking is an entire galaxy commensurate in scale and in activity to our own galaxy, the Milky Way. We've got hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy. Every smudge there is an entire galaxy from nearby out to the edge of the universe. And in those galaxies, stars are being born. They live out their lives and they die. And some of those stars had manufactured elements. Those elements on the periodic table were forged in the crucibles of stars in their centers where the temperature is high. Atoms collide, they make heavier atoms. Thermonuclear fusion. Those stars explode, take those enriched ingredients and scatter them into their own galaxy. And new gas clouds collapse and make new stars. And those stars now have extra ingredients. They have carbon and nitrogen and iron and silicon. They can make planets. And they have the ingredients for life. So when I look at images like this, yes, we are small in time, space, size, location. Yes, we are small. But should, why does that require that you feel small? Yes, we're small, but I look out there and I see these ingredients that we match by being alive. And I say to myself, we are a part of this universe. This universe that extends 15, 14 billion light years out to the cosmic horizon. Too many people think we are here in a universe. That's a universe out there. We got nothing to do with that. We're just sort of residents within it. But the fact that we match ingredients one for one with this universe, and that those ingredients are manufactured in stars that gave their lives. We are not just in this universe, we are stardust. We have kinship with stars. And it is that fact that leads me to tell you, here and now, that yes, not only are we in this universe, the universe is in us. That is the highest thought I know. There is no small ego to come out of it. That is a biggest ego I can imagine because it encompasses the universe knowing that I'm small and confirming that I'm something, part of something bigger than myself. Thank you all for staying.